How's it going guys? So awesome to see you guys' lovely faces for the second time this week. For this video, I'm going to teach you guys the fastest and cheapest way to make your own entourage for scale models. You know what that means? Architecture no jutsu time. <laughs> First thing we are going to make are the trees. So for this we are going to need some twigs that we picked outside, which are free. Just make sure you aren't getting twigs from someone else's plants. Also, make sure that the twigs you get look like trees. So for this I often get twigs from tiny bushes and shrubs. Next thing we are going to need are scotch bright scour pads. Scow? Score? Score? Pads? How do you pronounce this? Anyways, make sure that you get the green ones with no labels on them. Last thing we are going to need is some glue. You could use some white glue that dries clear or you could also use super glue. Or you could even use a glue gun if you're rushing. So first thing you have to do is cut random cloud shapes from your scotch bright. Then peel apart the scotch bright and start pinching off random areas to make it look more natural. With the nose hair trimmer, begin cutting the edges and make it look bougier and more tree-like. Once that's done, grab your twig and dab a little glue on the tip where you want the foliage to be. Then just put the scotch bite pieces you made earlier onto the twig and voila! You have a tiny tree! I think that looks awesome guys, I'm actually surprised how this one turned out, it's actually pretty good. Now that we have our awesome tree, let's move on to making tiny people. That actually sounded really wrong. For this, we are going to need some PVC sheets and some sticker paper. First thing you are going to do is find some random people on the internet. No, not like that. Okay, what I mean is type people.png onto Google and you should find a bunch of pictures of people with the backgrounds already cut out. Now, print these people to scale onto your sticker paper, then cut them out roughly. Don't get into the details that much, you don't really need that right now. Once that's done, peel it off the sticker paper then stick it to your PVC sheet. Now, with your hobby knife, carefully trace the outline of your tiny person and begin peeling off the background. When that's done, it's now time to cut the PVC sheets and make sure to leave a flap beneath our tiny person. Somewhere around 5mm is good. Now that we have cut out our PVC sheet, cut 3 small notches on the flappy bit of our PVC sheet. Then fold it alternatingly. And boom! We have a stand for our tiny person. So awesome! And would you look at that, we still have a bunch of time for some more architecture no jutsus. I don't actually have a watch, I, I don't know what I was looking at. Anyway, for today's bonus jutsu, we are going to make cars for your scale models. The only thing you guys are going to need is a sheet of paper, preferably 150 GSM, and a printer. So the first step is go to papertoys.com and just download any of the car cutouts available. Then just print out your cars to scale and start cutting out the outline. Two days later. When that's done, just fold it and stick the flappy parts together. For this part, I like to use double-sided tape or double-sided sticker because my hands always end up glued together whenever I use super glue. And I'm not really the most coordinated man in the whole world, so yeah. Double-sided tape is the safest way to go. And boom, you're done! You now have an amazing paper car without having to buy one of those expensive matchbox cars or Hot Wheels and whatnot that your rich classmates are probably doing. 
Yours is free. Yours is better because you spent more effort on it. Yeah. There you go, guys. Budget, scale, model, props, or entourage. I guess that's the whole video, guys. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe down below for more videos from me, your boy Lian. It helps me out a ton. And thank you for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace!